Hello guys, welcome to Tech Mode. So today we are going to discuss how you can do UI regression as well as UI testing and how you can automate ev everything that you see on a screen using Casper JS and Phantom CSS. So let's, let us understand what is UI testing. So UI testing is a testing via user interface. You run the app on the device and you tap through the UI and you tap around to make sure that the, all the functions are working as desired but you know you when you keep adding those features it become cumbersome to test the entire app so each time you have to make sure that you uh, you have a regression and what if you forgot certain features while doing the regression and manual testing of that ui again and again it ta it's takes lots of time and it's very boring so let's understand what is what is UI testing so the topics that I am going to cover in this it's an introduction to UI testing and we'll learn more about how what is Casper JS and Phantom CSS we'll basically installing them and we'll be write first basic test and we'll have it on demo app where we will be basically writing test cases for UI testing and after that we'll be basically writing advanced test suite of of UI testing and we'll be creating a basically certain grunt task and with for this UI automation suit so this is a basically a series of uh, videos and this will this is the first lecture of introduction so expect less uh, from this one and in the next and third you will expect more about it and you will learn a lot, lot of things so we'll understand what is UI testing so user interface testing is the ability to validate UI various devices to assert availability state and correct functionalities you know in the ui testing basically you have to simulate the behavior of an actual user like tapping a button scrolling a view entering a text in a text field so the next question is why does ui testing matter so it matters because we want to make sure that our ui or the user interface is a whenever we user try to in interact with your app it's flawless and it's a bug free uh, as you know devs are keep, add, keep adding new features again and again you want you don't want to them to break anything related to ui or app right right so in this uh, so casper js as well as phantom css is basically helping us to do the ui testing part so how they are going to do we'll discuss more in the next tutorial and so things that we will like to do so let's make it this tutorial also a productive and we'll install node webstorm and we'll download a test website and run the demo test sites that we'll be using throughout the course to test for ui regression so if you wanted to install node you can just go to node.js and i'm showing you right now node.js.org and you will download the latest that is LTS version and if you are on a Windows machine it will give you basically the EXE version of it and right now I am in a Mac so I, it will give me the DMG file or a package file so next thing you have to download is uh, any text editor that you want to have it I prefer WebStorm it's a very powerful tool and uh, 30, 30 days it's free and if you wanted to use any other uh, text editor it's up to you guys you can download the 30 day, 30 day free trial 30 days are enough guys use it it's a very powerful tool help it will help you a lot while developing the ui regression test cases and all so this is and the third part is download the demo site so i have given you the link this is the link if so i'll give you a zoom out more so this is the link and if you download this one and run it so this is how it look like so it's a pretty much a basic website where i have a uh, it's a page of 133 page uh, where we have a certain buttons and a certain text with different different co colors fonts and different things and we have a portfolio with where we can interact with our grid and this is the contact page and this is a plan page and so basically kind of a demo page or demo website where lots of changes of ui will happen uh, throughout this whenever we are doing this so we want to make sure that we don't break anything and it's up to the 
up to the mark according to the UI testing. So, hope to see you in the next tutorial where we will learn more about installing Casper JS and Phantom CSS and we will be creating a baseline images for all the test cases that we are going to run in the UI testing. So, thanks a lot and hope to see you in the next video.